Hey, Island Heights Ocean Gate, whoever's out there. Mr. L here coming to you from Island Heights Grade School Gym today. We are going to be done with football, and we are working on just a little relaxing. We're going to do a yoga class today. By no means am I the best yoga person, a yogi out there, but I'm going to try my best to show you some different things you can do to be very easy, just to give yourself a little stretching, a little strength, little balance, things like that. Yoga is very beneficial to a lot of different things, all right? Pro athletes do it, dancers do it, your everyday person does it, just to get, them, get their bodies doing a lot of different things and exercise and making themselves better. You don't just have to run to be physically fit, things like that. All right, so we're gonna do warm-ups first, and then we're gonna get in some yoga poses I'm gonna show you. Hopefully you can try some of them at home. Hopefully you can do some of them at home. Hopefully some of them are pretty challenging for you. All right? We should start today with our kicks, Frankenstein kicks. We're just gonna switch them up, all right? Leg up, kick. Alright, opposite hand, leg up, kick. Alright, you keep going for about 30 seconds. Remember, every time I come down, I switch my, I get myself, I get myself ready to kick the other foot. Don't just stand there and kick and expect to be ready to kick the other foot, because that's all you get. And this isn't going to get it done. Alright, do your best job to get it at least 90 degrees. 90 degrees means nice and level. You should be going straight out from your hip. To there, alright? So here we go, balls and feet. feet. Alright? It's nice and easy. I would not go any faster than I'm going. Alright? Because you don't want to stress your body so much. Alright? You don't want to stress your body too much. Switch to the side so you can see what's going on the body. You're really just trying to stretch those muscles out. Calf muscles. All right. We'll get those hip flexors working. All right. Stop. You can do those walking, or you can do them in a stationary spot where you're switching legs. Some people like to. Some people like to do Frankenstein kicks as they walk. That's up to you. You can make that choice. All right, you can make that choice. We're not gonna do squats today, because I had a couple yoga poses that might burn your legs up a little bit. All right, so we're gonna do mountain climbers again. Remember, mountain climbers, you're in a high plank position, and you're just bringing your knees up. Bringing your knees up. So you're in a high plank position, or push-up position. Try to keep your back flat, all right? And, then when, and you're just bringing your knees, your chest. All right. All right. Let's go. Thirty seconds. Try to hold that position. Back flat. Knees up. Keep going. Find that. Burn your shoulders a little bit like the push ups. Alright, that burns your shoulders up like the push ups. Now we'll get into our push up trainers. Alright, our push up trainers. Start by laying on the ground, on your belly. Lay on the ground on your belly. Put your hands, I'll turn this way. Put your hands under your shoulders. Under your shoulders. Toes curled. All right, you're just going to push up, keeping your body flat, and then you go all the way down to the ground. Some people like their hands a little bit wider than their shoulders. You can put them just outside your shoulders, and you push up, nice and flat, and you go all the way down. All right, I'll turn this way. So you 
You see, if you have to modify, still on your belly, hands just outside your shoulders, chicken wings, push up, and down, push up, and down, all right? So we're just going to do some of these, try to stay with me, up, down, all the way down to the ground, push up, down, all the way down. Lay your belly on the ground. Push up. Lay your belly on the ground. I'll go to modified. And you can switch back and forth between modified and regular. All right, modified or unmodified, it's up to you. Push up. And down, all the way down. Push up. And all the way down. Push up. Pretty old, so you know I'm about to pass out. All right, so we're gonna get into some yoga poses, some easy ones first. We'll start nice and simple, and then we're gonna get to some harder ones as we go. All right, I have them written down. That's why you see me looking at the floor because I wouldn't remember. I wouldn't remember much of anything. All right, so the first one. First one's very easy. It's called mountain. Kind of like you're just standing still. Feet about shoulder width apart, about a soccer ball can roll through. Standing up nice and tall, shoulders back, palms facing me. Remember to breathe when you're doing yoga. Some people like to hold their breath for some unknown reason. That's not good. You want to breathe through your nose, out through your mouth. Some people like to listen to soft music. That to relax. In your nose, out through your mouth. One more breath in. Yeah. That was super easy. All right, Just shake it out. That one was super easy. So the next one we're going to do is work on our balance a little bit as well. All right. So what we're going to do is called tree pose. Tree pose is one. You might want to have something near you that you can grab onto just in case you have to fall, you, you think you're going to fall, or things like that. Tree pose. You bring one foot up onto your leg and you balance on one foot. Some people put their hands here, 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 some people put their hands here. Put their hands here. It's really up to you. All right? You bring your leg up. Whoa. Balance. All right. Remember, we're breathing. Nice and easy. Like I said, if you want to put some music on, I have music. You can put some music on. You want to hold each position. Some, some people can put their legs up really high. I cannot. All right. You don't have to start in here. You can start with your toe on the ground, nice and easy to get your balance. Then move it up a little bit. Right, you want to hold each position for about 30 seconds. Breathing the entire time, nice and easy. All right, so now we're going to switch legs, bring it up, and you're just holding. You're just holding. You're balancing. It's important I'm wobbling a little bit because I can see myself in the camera. All right, you want to focus on one point on the ground, in your house, wherever it is. You want to focus on one point, something that is not moving, an inanimate object. My sneakers are sliding down my leg for some reason. You want to focus on an inanimate object, something that's not moving. If you just focus on that, you're more likely to not move. Sway side to side, get off balance. Focus on one thing, stare at it, and you should be okay. All right, that's tree pose. Tree pose. All right. Now we are going to go to a pyramid pose. Pyramid pose. It's like our split jumps would start. One foot in front, one foot behind. You're going to take your hands and you're going to hold them behind your back. Hold your own hands behind your back and you're just 
just going to bend at the waist, keeping your back straight. Should be like this, punched over, back straight, and we're just leaning down. All right? As far as your body will let you go, that's all it is. Hands behind your back, back straight, down. You're only bending at the waist. Only bending at the waist. Nice and easy. You should feel a good stretch of both of your legs. Breathing in. Out. Remember, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Alright, we'll just switch legs. Do the same thing. Hands behind our backs. Into our pyramid. Nice and easy. Go as far as your body will let you. You can be on a a little bit of a bent knee in the front, that's okay. You don't have to be on a lockdown leg. Alright, try to keep that back straight as best you can. Through your nose, out through your mouth. Alright, something nice and easy like that. We just get a nice stretch in for that one. Alright, let's see what's next. All right, now we're gonna go into our warrior poses. There's three of them. They get a little bit harder as you go. All right, so warrior one, or warrior two, the numero dos is the easiest of them. You put your feet in an L, all right, L, and then you just take a step forward, all right? Then your arms just go out like this. Take a giant step, out, so you make an L with your heels, and then you take a giant step out, and your arms are out like this. All right, you don't want this knee going past that toe, just get a nice, easy, keep those arms here, nice and easy. This is warrior one, or I'm sorry, this is warrior two. Arms stay out, nice and easy. All right, and again, you should hold these for about 30 seconds. I'm not holding them for about 30 seconds. Because again, I'm trying not to make this video insanely long. All right, so switch feet, make the make that L, huge step forward, arms out, lean a little bit into your front leg, nice and easy. Works on a little bit of our balance. It works on a little bit of our strength. It works a little bit of our stretching. All right, so this is warrior. Standing, things like that. All right. Now we're going to go into Warrior One. Warrior One's a little tougher. All right. You want to make that L again and take that giant step forward. Instead of your arms here, they go up above your head, and you turn your body towards your front leg. Your back foot will turn a little bit. So it's at about a 45 degree angle. So it's kind of angled out. All right, it's not gonna be straight in and out anymore because your body turned. And you turn that body and you put those arms up. Arms up, leaning into that front leg. Nice and easy, pull those arms up. Breathe in through your nose, out through your mouth. This is warrior one. All right, switch legs, I'm going to make that L, take the giant step forward. When I turn my body, my arms go up, when I turn that body, my back foot turns a little bit with it. So now just turn just the slightest bit. You go into a nice warrior one. Arms try to stay above your head, back, not so much in front of you, out. Try to keep them up above your head as much as possible. All right. All right, now we get into, we'll get back to Warrior 3. We'll get back to Warrior 3. Yeah, we'll get back to it. All right, so this one is called the Dancer Pose. It's more of a, it's a quadriceps stretch, really, and we just extend it a little bit. So with our quad stretch, we, put, we grab one foot, again, it's another one you might need to, 
a hand for something, maybe a chair near you, and you extend that leg back, and you extend your arm out. So this is the dancer pose. It brings in a lot of balance on one leg. It brings a nice stretch to the quads, hip flexors, and you're extending. Lean forward a little bit, so you can extend that arm. Head should be facing forward. And again, balance. Look at something on the floor. Look at something on your wall that isn't moving. All right? So we're extending that arm. Keeping your balance. All right, that one's kind of tough. We're getting to the harder ones now. All right. Now we're going to switch legs. I just turn around for whatever reason. I don't know why. I'm going to switch legs. This is the leg I'm standing on. I bring that one up. I extend. Look out. Extend as far as you can. On a bent knee here. Alright, on a bent knee. And you're extended. Right, so just holding that for about 30 seconds. Nice and easy. Right. That was dancer pose. So we'll go to warrior three now. I have two more, and then we're going to be all done. Warrior three. So you start in that L. All right, take a giant step away. And instead of this foot staying on your back leg, staying on the ground, just for a little, a little giant step. Your arms go out, and your leg comes up like you're Superman. Like you're Superman. Wow, the Supergirl. Wonder Woman, whoever, and you're flying away. It's a lot of stretch, it's a lot of strain and stress on this leg, trying to keep your whole body still, like you are flying. All right, same thing. The L, giant step, arms out like you're flying, and you lean forward. Bend to the waist, all right, and you're leaning forward and flying. Leg is up, nice and easy, you're flying out. Keep your head up. That is warrior three. Like I said, try to hold those for about 30 seconds. Uh, we have one, we have one more to do, and I'm looking at it. Oh, okay. It's called half moon. All right? So again, to that L, step forward. Put one hand on the ground, and you put one hand up, and you bring your leg back. One hand on the ground, one arm up, bring that leg out. Nice and easy. Keep that hand on the ground, and you're reaching. All right, again, balance. Things like that. Balance. Strength. Same thing. You step out, hand on the ground, hand up, leg up. Try to be as straight as you can. I know it's very difficult. Do your best. Do this somewhere safe so when you do fall, you're not crashing your head into something. All right, so that was just a little bit, a few yoga mo moves, poses. Some are easy, some are hard. You can mix up how you do them. It's up to you. All right, stay active.